guys, it's me, and today I'm going to show you like a little bit of a haul, um, one being Bath and Body Works semi-annual, a little bit of Walmart, and a little bit of Marshall. So I'm going to jump on in um, with the Bath and Body Works. I have placed an order online because my store was completely out of like everything on the third day. They had no raspberry peach macaron, no lavender marshmallow, no frosted cupcake, and no strawberry sorbet. So online, I ordered three raspberry macarons and two lavender marshmallows going to show you what else I got though but that will be coming you know within the next week or so so I did find this cute little thing and I actually wanted the blue one but they only had the pink so you know I ended up getting this for six dollars and it was originally $14.50 so it just goes around your candle really cute little centerpiece decorative little touch so I like that and then um, the candles I got two pineapple cream puffs I'm right here at the sun by the way two pineapple cream puffs and this reads delicate puff pastry and rich cream meat tropical pineapple and a fragrance inspired by a classic handmade confection really cute love the labels didn't get my hands on the sweet shop collection i just started loving bath and body works when that collection hit and i think i got a few raspberry peach macarons and pink petal tea cake and then like i didn't know it was going to be you know collector's item and i burned them <laughs> I had to return a Girl Gang pink bubble gum, and I just went ahead and got another pink bubble gum. The Girl Gang didn't burn well. It dudded out halfway and, like, would not light. So I'm hoping that this one burns better. Let's hope and pray it does. Love the label. This one says, a fragrance you can really sink your teeth into with notes of pink sugar cane, juicy watermelon, and a hint of vanilla. And then I also got two of the Honey Cinnamon Crumb Cake. The other ones will be coming. I really wasn't interested in strawberry sorbet or frosted cupcake. I have those. Strawberry sorbet, if I'm not mistaken, is just Happy Easter cotton candy marshmallow. And I have a lot of frosted cupcakes from last um, winter. So this smells good as well. This says um, today's special an irresistible baked treat made with fresh soft cake, local honey, and a hint of cinnamon. So all these um, labels are beautiful and so cute. The Sweet Shop collection was. A tried and true favorite, loved by many. Okay, so you guys have heard me kind of rant and rave about this, but this one is the Cocoa Body Scrub, but not in pumpkin cupcake. This one is in coconut sugar cane, and I really didn't hear a lot of people talking about this scent. Um, oh, it smells wonderful though, and I'm excited to have it. It just smells like a little bit of coconut mixed with the cocoa. I mean, it's good, but I kind of actually probably would have rather had pumpkin cupcake. But I didn't see any. But this cocoa scrub is amazing. And if you can find it at semi-annual, I would definitely pick it up. This was 75% off. I got two soaps. One in the wild blackberries and basil. I heard a lot about this one. People ranted and raved about this. I didn't pick it up. And I seen it in the $3 bin. So I just went ahead and grabbed it to have it. And then I also got a cognac and cream. And to be honest, I did not like any of this collection that was out. I didn't like any of it. I uh, didn't think any of it smelled that good. And to be honest, this one doesn't smell that good either. Oh, it just smells medicinal. It really, and I dropped it. It smells medicinal, but it's manly. So I thought I would put this at my husband's sink. But I just don't know if I'm liking that scent at all. And then I got three wallflowers. One in spiced graham cracker, one in a um, cinnamon pretzel roll, and this one's really good. I've had it in my kids' room before, and it's super strong, and one in salted caramel. Now, I didn't really have a good experience, the semi-annual sale. Um, I went the third day, and everything was completely wiped out. There was no holiday traditions at all. I wanted to get a spray, a fine fragrance mist, and coconut mint drop. And some of the snowy mornings and they didn't have any at all everything was completely gone no vanilla bean noel twist peppermint or winter candy apple everything was gone completely wiped out um half of the sweet shop collection candles were not there they were all gone as well so there was a wall that had the wallflower tester candles for 50 percent off now normally they're 75 percent off i picked one candle out of it the coconut snowflake because i never got my hands on the three wick and she would not sell it to me. She simply would not sell it to me. She swore up and down they don't sell them. I said, honey, I know 
you don't sell them throughout the year, but you do sell them at semi-annual. They clearance out to 75% off. If you will just ring it up, you will see that it is ringing up. And it's on your wall for 50% off, but I'm telling you to normally go down to 75. She would not. She argued me back and forth and said she was not going to sell it to me. They did not sell them. And, I mean, I couldn't do anything because she wouldn't sell it to me. But I was like, honey, they're on the wall. Like, you have them on the wall for sale. You need to take them down if you're not going to sell them. Really got me upset, but what can you do? Right, it's just a candle. So, I just shut my mouth and kept walking. Okay, so I'm going to show you some Marshalls real quick. I only got two things from Marshalls. But I really like this, and I've been really liking the sweater look and the flannel look on my bed. So, I got this. This is a Tommy Bahama full queen cotton blanket and it's like this gray kind of muted brown gray color and if you can tell it's like quilted like a sweater and I absolutely love it I've been looking for this and I'm so glad that I found it and I have a really cute flannel sheet set that matches very well with this so I grabbed that and then on clearance they had um sorry about the bag they had a philosophy clean and sweet um like little little care little body care thing it was on clearance for $13 and it has vanilla birthday cake and pink marshmallow buttercream so I just really couldn't I could not get this so I picked it up and I really want to smell it oh this is body lotion I didn't know it was body lotion wow and this one is shower gel bubble bath shampoo but just shower gel for me Wow, I didn't know this was body lotion. I'm kind of really excited for that. So, I got that. And then I just wanted to show you real quick what I picked up at Walmart. Um, they had all of their, like, um, Better Homes and Garden candles for $6. So, I picked up one in the Caramel Sugar Fig. I don't have it right here, but you all know what that candle looks like. But I did get me, one second, I did get me some uh, slippers. These are the Deer Foam. I love you. And I've just been really wanting slippers, so I grabbed me a pair of these. I know, random, but just wanted to show you. So, I got those, and I'm actually wearing those right now. And then, I also got... These are like my beloveds. Like, this is what I wear all year round. And these are, um, you know, just little slip-on, like, moccasin-type shoes. And I love them, and I normally have them every year in, like, brown black and like another random color but this year I actually haven't gotten any and mine are getting like really tattered and old so I grabbed this pair they didn't have any black or I would have got black so I grabbed brown just to have and the last thing that I wanted to show you where is it at right here is this and I have been looking for one of these for so long so long and I'm so glad that I finally found one it is just a little silky black robe and I think that it's absolutely adorable. And I love it. And it's just, you know, cutesy and fun to put on when you get out of the shower. So I picked that up. And this was only 13 bucks. The moccasins were 13 And the uh, slippers was 10 But that's like my little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I really just didn't have a good experience with the semi-annual sale. Everything was completely wiped out. I may go to another Bath & Body Works that's near me that I don't normally go to. I may go to that, to that one, but I don't think you guys are going to be seeing as many semi-annual sale hauls from me as usual. I hate that, but it is what it is. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and stay tuned for all my empties videos, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.